Welcome to another Flutter Embedded tutorial. In this tutorial, I will instruct you how to use Flutter to read the Raspberry Pi 4B GPIO and display the status of the GPIO on a touch screen interface. In this demo embedded Flutter app, we can read GPIO states and use the data for control processing. Reading GPIO on an embedded system is fundamental for controlling devices. For example, electromechanical switches, photosensor switches, and magnetic read switches send high and low signals to the GPIO for processing. An electromechanical switch can indicate that a door is open or closed. A photosensor switch can indicate that a linear actuator is at the end of its limit. And a magnetic read switch can indicate if an access panel is open or closed. To build this app, you will need the following. A complete Raspberry Pi development system. Links are in the description. Install the current Raspberry Pi OS for desktop. Install the Flutter SDK, which includes Dart, and then install VS Code as your editor system. Check out my other YouTube tutorials that show you how to set up your Raspberry Pi and install all the software needed for the development system. I will put links in the description. After your development system is up and running, you will need to set up your electronics area. This will include a breadboard, wire jumpers, basic tools, and a few electronic components. I will put my recommendations with links in the description. In future YouTube videos in the series, I will instruct you how to create a custom switch service class. The purpose of this class is to monitor the state of one Raspberry Pi GPIO pin connected to a switch. After I show you how to code the custom switch service class, I'll guide you through the creation of the switch screen stateful widget for the user interface. Making use of Dart streams, the user interface will display the state of the switch, on or off. Using the building blocks that I'll provide in these tutorials, you will be able to create your own custom Flutter embedded system that can read multiple GPIOs on the Raspberry Pi. That wraps up this brief introduction to how to use Flutter to read GPIO in real time. I'm excited to get started on this series. Please subscribe so that you get notifications as my tutorials come online. We love to hear your comments and suggestions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.